Uh, sorry, I, d I also didn't prepare anything. I just sort of like jotted down some things um, during the Guild Council meeting. Um, like, sort of wishing that I'd just left, to be honest. Um, anyway, like, uh, not going to go for like a sort of um, thanking speech, as I've heard loads of them. Um, but I will say a quick thank you to like Antonia and Tanita, who, like, there's only two, half the people that are supposed to be in student voice. So, like, considering that, I think they've done a good job. Um, and so, like, basically, um, I just think, go through some things that I think are, like, um, quite stupid about real politics, basically. So the first thing is that, like, um, I think that ideas are really important, basically. And I think, like, that is unbelievably not understood um, within guild politics. Like, um, I used to sort of think of democracy as a purely, like, physical issue, as if you could sort of, like, tell how democratic something was by, like, looking at its kind of, like, structure. But I don't think that's actually true. And, like, the biggest... I've sort of come to realise that the, the biggest thing that's, like, preventing democracy in the Guild, in my opinion, is that, like... There's a pervasive concept that like ideas are a really bad thing and that people with ideas, people with experience, people who like know things about stuff are sort of weird and bad and their decisions matter less, their opinions matter less than people who know nothing about anything. So like when people try and talk about ideas, when people try and explain ideas, um, they're sort of like consistently kind of shot down uh, by totally kind of vacuous and meaningless concepts um, such as the normal student which is a thing that people say and it doesn't exist like uh, if you try and amalgamate 30,000 people into like a normal student um, you're going to have an extremely hard time of doing it another thing is sort of like uh, representing people that is often used in an incredibly uh, meaningless way in my in my opinion, uh, that doesn't really help you to think about anything. And like, the crux of the issue is, like, when you say we need to appeal to the normal student, we need to appeal to the average student, or we need to, I think more accurately, we need to appeal to as many students as possible. The way that you appeal to as many students as possible is not by being a normal student. Like, the guild is not going to become good if everyone acts in the way that everyone else acts kind of thing. The guild become good if people are very, very weird. Like, if you put in, like, you know, 10 hours of your day, like, working on things that are going to help the guild, that's gonna, what's going to make it better. And, like, sort of, like, kind of saying, oh, blah, 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 the normal student, you're not the normal student, is, like, effectively, like, a denial of, of this fact. So, like, um, in order to actually do anything, the reason why I say this is like an incredible threat to democracy is that like in order to actually do anything, uh, we need ideas about how to do it. So like you have to have ideas to run an institution like the Guild. It's big, it's quite well, well relatively complex. Like there will be ideas to run it. And if students insist on like shooting down people with ideas and in insist on a culture that says, no, we're not allowed to have our ideas about the way things work ourselves, all that happens is that other people get to decide how the, w the way things that are made. So this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't think the guild structures are very democratic. A lot of power is put out of student hands, but even more power is put out of student hands by this concept that, yeah, we need to represent everyone. We need to say nothing. We need to have no ideas about things because ultimately, if we like properly debate things and become like united, uh, or, or not even united, but like if we properly debate things, have ideas about how to run the guild, we'll be far more in control of it than can ever happen with like purely structural changes. Um, so like I'm, it may come as some surprise to all of you that I'm like pretty left wing. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> so like uh, I obviously my ideas about like the way that the guild should be run are sort of like coloured by my political beliefs. And like some of you may believe that um, this isn't the case for you, but you're but you're wrong. Like just because you don't necessarily think you know that much about politics or that you don't have political beliefs doesn't mean you don't have political beliefs and doesn't mean that they don't colour your attitude to the guild. Now I think like I personally think that like um, as, it's quite hard for me to see, you know, um, outside the objectively sort of like right ideas of left wing sort of like philosophy. But like I, when if I sort of like consider that there may be other ideas kind of like standing outside that, I think the guild would be like an, a much better place 
if like those were were put across in more of a structured way. So like if you're if you're not left wing, if you're if you're any kind of political persuasion, I'd really encourage people to kind of like write, talk, like pr try and like think up like how they think the guild should be and like the way they think it should run because like I think if there was a properly like frank sort of like debate uh, between like different views rather than this kind of like uh, culture of what I think to be like nonsense in terms of like representing everyone and the normal student um, then I think we would actually have a much better institution. Um, so like in terms of ideas like one thing that I think is one of the most frustrating ideas that I've had when I've come here is like people's concepts of like how the university works. So you might not think that you have a theory about how the university works, but in order to interpret any kind of decision about like how we're going to act in relation to the university, you must necessarily have like a theory about how it's going to work. And so like people, a lot of people in the guild have often kind of sort of said that basically the university is sort of like something that if we're nice to it, it's, it's nice back to us. And this just makes really no sense at all. Like, um, like <coughs> essentially, it's a, it's a strategic institution. It's thinking strategically. It has loads of committee meetings. They make decisions on some kind of like strategic level. So the way that we convince the university to do stuff is by making it in their interest or, or, or kind of like forcing them to do it. It's, it's, it's a relationship of power, ultimately. Uh, it has to be at root. And that doesn't like deny that there are different ways of exercising that power. And power isn't just about like protests and kicking off. Like the fact that the guild is, does a lot that is in the interest of the university is a form of power. That's why they give us their block grant every year. And that's why they're not going to like ever cut the block grant entirely because fundamentally the guild um, does a lot for the university that's powerful. So there is a kind of power in being able to do your like student activities better kind of thing. But ultimately it is a relationship of power and if we want to like know how to act in the university to get more out of them and get more from the guild for whatever you want to do to it, even if you don't like think it should have much of a like representative thing or, or, or whatever, like we should think about it as a, in terms of like power. And then like the, the last thing I wanted, like, um, I'm glad you stayed Jimmy and like the sort of the only other person I'm going to mention is, is Jimmy in this speech and like one thing that I like about you is that you actually like really strongly like believe in something which I think is like really refreshing. So like when I, before I came to university, I think there's like, there's a too much of a tendency among people to sort of like think that it's normal, think that it's weird to really like believe in something strongly um, and for like, to, it's kind of like, you know, the accepted pattern in society is not to give a shit about anything like other than yourself. Like when I, before I came to university, I used to like not tell people that I like uh, read books and like believed in things because it was like too weird uh, a sort of like concept to try and like explain that to people before I came to university. So like Jimmy, like I might not necessarily agree that like passionately healthy eating is like incredibly important. It's something that we should be fighting for like really strongly. But like I really respect that you actually like believe in that. And I think like um, if sort of everyone just doesn't really think about the world and doesn't really care about it and mostly just goes after their self-interest um, then we're going to live in like a incredibly uh, shit place so like um, I think like hopefully um, the guild will believe in more things strongly put beliefs across and actually like try and change things like sometimes we might we need to like swim against the tide sort of thing uh, we don't we, we like, I think it's really, really important that we have beliefs and like the way how much the guild has come on in terms of like believing in liberation over the last three years to the point in my first council, like people would just like laugh liberation out of the room if people talked about it. Whereas now, like it's sort of like generally accepted by everyone uh, in guild council to some extent or less that it's like a good thing, and I think that's incredibly positive. So, like, um. If, yeah, I think it would be great if we could just debate ideas more and have beliefs in stuff and try and like change things.